Black boxes have been found and investigators will start examining them soon to try to get to the bottom of what exactly happened. French Defence Minister Florence Parly announcing yesterday that investigation will be ongoing. She hasn't mentioned any details of what have come from that as yet. She is expected in the country today. She will travel up to the north to Gao where she will have an intimate ceremony with the French soldiers that are based in the country to pay tribute to the 13 soldiers that died on Monday night in the biggest loss of French soldiers' lives in some 36 years. Not only have French uh, people who live in the region been paying tribute on social media, various world leaders have taken to Twitter as well. We've had the Malian president taking to Twitter saying that he sends his condolences to the people of France, saying they died for France, for Mali, for the Sahel, for freedom and for mankind. Across the border in Ivory Coast, President Alassane Ouattara sent his condolences, saying he salutes the memory of these brave soldiers and sent his sincere, sincere condolences, rather, to the families of those who lost their loved ones, to pre French President Emmanuel Macron and, of course, the French nation. Across the, bo across the pond, rather, across the Atlantic, that is, uh, French, uh, Canadian President, he sent his condolences, saying they were deployed much like Canadian soldiers to Mali, where they served their country bravely in the pursuit of a safer world.